We now know how the 18 year veteran firefighter of Spokane County District 9 died while on duty last week. According to the division chief, Lieutenant Cody Traber fell from a bridge while trying to locate a reported fire. Prem 2's Amanda Rowley shares more about what happened last Thursday night. This fire engine here behind me, engine 92, is the truck that Lieutenant Cody Traber was on the night he died. Today, we learned that night, Lieutenant Traber fell from a bridge near Highway 395 and Wandemere Road. The flags at Spokane County Fire District 9 are flying half staff today, honoring the life of Lieutenant Cody Traber. We're all struggling uh, to get through this difficult time. If you follow this line of his fellow firefighters this afternoon, they lead you to the last truck he served on and the reason Lieutenant Traber is not here today. Division Chief Bobby Schindelar explains Lieutenant Traber was dispatched to a wildland fire about 945 Thursday night. When Engine 92 arrived near the location, they were unable to locate any evidence of a fire. The engine moved to the Wandermere Bridge to gain a better vantage point in search of the fire. Soon after, uh, Lieutenant Cody Traber fell from the bridge. He says that bridge has no lights and it was already dark when crews arrived. The crew of seven never located the fire that night. The department does not believe it was a bogus call, but one of good intent. Lieutenant Traber was trying to gain a vantage point where he could see a large area uh, in that Wandermere Valley. And he was, he was looking north and, and south to try to see what he could see from that, that high vantage point. We learned today Traber also trained at the Volunteer Fire Academy on District 9's campus. It serves Spokane County Fire District 4 and 9, along with Stevens County Fire District 1. The division chief describes the type of leader he was on and off duty. Cody was a very outgoing person. He was a kind man. He was a family man. He had a sense of humor and uh, uh, people just really enjoyed his presence and enjoyed being around him. Washington State Patrol, Spokane County Sheriff's Office, and the Washington Department of Labor and Industries are investigating what happened that night. Additional details are expected to be released later. Reporting in Mead, Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.